Hello and welcome one more time. Vinny the Car Guru here at Greenbrook Buick GMC Chevrolet and Prion. And today I'm doing something different. We have uh, these vehicles that are coming with Super Cruise. And I want to show you how this whole thing works, how you drive without hands or anything, uh, touching anything on the vehicle and the vehicle drive itself. So let's take a look. Finally, we are here with the 2023 Denali Yukon with the Super Cruise and uh, our trainer here from uh, GM, from General Motors, is here to show us. So we're going to run a test on how to drive with Super Cruise. So I guess, are, are we ready? We're ready? Okay. So we're going to put it in drive. Okay. We're going to take it on Route 22. Now the Super Cruise will work. Uh, on most of the routes or highways uh, uh, on USA and Canada. Am I correct on that? Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this. And this is something that is becoming more main, mainstream on vehicles with General Motors. Uh, we've been seeing that Super Cruise on uh, the uh, Chevy Bolt. We've seen it now on the uh, on the Yukon, uh, started with the Yukon Ultimate. Uh, funny enough, uh, this is not an Ultimate, but it does come with Super Cruise. Uh, and of course, uh, the Sierra 1500. It's uh, also, uh, uh, it's also been having this uh, Super Cruise as well. So the Super Cruise has a camera right here that will read my face and in a bar right here that will turn that's three different colors the red the blue and the green so red will be you cannot engage it or is a danger or alert you to put your hands back in the wheel uh, the blue is when it's getting ready and the green is when it could be engaged and you can get uh, your hands uh, off the wheel and one so of the things that is important to mention if you push this button right here on the wheel uh, and the route uh, road you're in it doesn't have super cruise there is not compatible with the vehicle and the maps it will tell you right here super cruise unavailable no road information so that's something that I think it's important to mention uh, you will have to you know push that button and make sure that the route you're in um, it's compatible with the with the software it's all Google based right now uh, with these vehicles okay we're about to engage the Super Cruise so we're gonna push this button right here it's like a wheel and lines on it so we're gonna push it and the light turns green right here and the car takes off by itself I am really not doing absolutely anything now I'm gonna slow the speed right here because I have the I have the chance to do that just like a regular super, uh, like a regular cruise uh, uh, cruise control. You can regulate the speed, and, and this route is 55, so I'm gonna put it about 59. And you can see the car is driving itself. This is this is actually amazing. I uh, I never done this before. Now the camera right here, on top of the steering column, is reading my face to make sure. Now we're coming to a red light and uh, I want to see if the car stops if not <laughs> okay so it's telling me to put my hands on the wheel and uh, it's blue and uh, okay so I'm just gonna push the brakes I'm you know probably takes a little bit to get used to this thing but uh, we saw um, that uh, so uh, that it, it, it did it now right here it's uh, disengage again because I did push the brake I put my hands on the wheel I'm gonna push the button let's see push the gas okay super cruising available let's see all right I'm gonna push the button so I'm trying to see I guess I gotta get this going right here and there we go once again we're in super cruise I'm not touching anything the car is driving itself 56 miles an hour 
and you can see cars around me. <laughs> this is uh, this is really really a new experience. This is something else. Uh, it probably is going to take a while to to get used to this, uh, but I wanted to show it and see how Super Cruise works. A lot of people asked me to make this video because they wanted to see it's all new technology that General Motors has been putting out there, um, and uh, it's 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 a uh, it's an amazing amazing technology, and a lot of people talking in the future, we're probably just gonna get into cars and telling cars what to take us, and they're just gonna do this, um, you know, take us places by itself, and we probably won't even need to, to, to know how to drive anymore. But for now, this is the new technology coming. I wanted to show it to you and there you guys see it. I got no, no foot in the, in the pedals, no hands, and the car is steering by itself. It's going by itself uh, with uh, the speed and everything. Uh, it's asking me auto lane change. It's changing lanes, guys. It's changing lanes by itself. Look at this. The car just changed lanes by itself. I read that it was the safe thing to do, and it did it. Uh, sensing cars behind it, so it wants to give uh, the flow uh, the chance to go, so uh, it changed lanes by itself. Oh, I'm just going back to the dealership right now, and uh, I wanted to show a little bit more on the, how the vehicle, uh, how you can change lanes if you want it. The vehicle will change lanes by itself if it senses the need to do that, uh, if it senses a car behind it, if it senses that you know it needs uh, somebody to slow it down and it has the opening on the lane. However, if you wanted the vehicle to change lanes, to change lanes, if you want to tell the vehicle to change lanes, you just have to tap the, um, the blinker light. Um, so let me see, I'm just gonna it's gonna give it a little top to the right and the vehicle will look to see if it's okay to do so and it does it <laughs> amazing stuff now um, you know I have a vehicle in the front right now and probably it's gonna sense that vehicle I have a vehicle right here in the back so it's sensing so it's just slowing down cannot change lanes so it's just slowing down and reading, uh, you know, that uh, I, I should stay right here. So it's, it's keeping me in the lane, it's slowing down to 45 miles an hour. Car in front of me is braking. And now, boom, it's taking off back again because it senses that it has an opening. This is very interesting. I want to see what happens here because a car just came into my lane all of a sudden. And there we go. Slows down again. Reading, I got a car right here on my left car in the front and you can see the vehicle reading where he's at and where he's going keeping this is remarkable uh, so here I am you know now I got an open road I have it set to 59 miles per hour so it is at 59 miles per hour right now and uh, coming to the curve let's see how it takes the curve again I'm not touching anything I am not touching anything. The car is doing everything by itself. Everything by itself. Uh, got a car right here that is about to pass me. Uh, and uh, again, this is all the software and the system, the Super Cruise. It's reading my face with the camera. Have the green light right here on the steering wheel that is letting me know that it's okay. If for any reason I, I, I would doze off or I fall asleep, which I'm not gonna try to do, but uh, it's, the car's supposed to start shining red light to get me awake. If I don't wake up, the vehicle will put the signal and slow down and um, uh, it's telling me right here the Super Cruise uh, is disengaging, take control of the vehicle. So I'm putting my hands on the vehicle and Super Cruise, uh, it's now uh, done. And it's taking back off. We, we came to the stoplight, so I guess that's why I did that. So um, there you go. But as I was saying, you saw how it did the red light and told me to take control of the vehicle. Funny enough, I was talking about that, that the vehicle will take control or uh, uh, will 
try to get you to take control of, of, of the vehicle uh, in case something happens to you, you fall asleep or God forbid something else, it will slow down, it will actually put the blinker in, uh, put itself out of the road and if you don't answer at that point, it will call uh, on start and uh, somebody will come through the on start uh, and try to, to, to talk to you and see and make sure that you're okay. If you don't answer, then at that point they'll be talking and calling the authorities to make sure that they can come and assist you because at that point, of course, something could be really serious, like God forbid a heart attack or something like that. So. Uh, this is this is amazing. It's really remarkable. I mean, this is amazing. I, I, I like I said, I never experienced anything like this in my life. Never thought I would. Uh, you know, coming from the era of uh, cars uh, that actually uh, were stick shift and everything, and and now now we got this. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, type them in the comments. I'll try to answer, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, incredible stuff. Thank you for watching.